Diagnosing a disease is like solving a crime. So doctors, like Dr. House, for example, uh, usually get a lot of clues, right? And they use them to decide what's the pathology that is affecting the given patient. One of the tools they use to get these clues are medical images. Medical images are images showing information about what's going on inside our body. By developing computational tools based on artificial intelligence, I am helping doctors, my research, my team, and all the community of uh, computing in medical imaging are helping doctors to better understand what's going on with these images, what's happening into our body. So, for example, doctors sometimes perform repetitive tasks like annotating images, like contouring tumors prior, before to doing a radiotherapy, for example. These repetitive tasks can easily be done using artificial intelligence. But also doctors sometimes need to look into data and try to find correlations with the specific diseases. So let's say we have a population of people with Alzheimer's disease and a population of healthy people. And we get medical images from all of them. Let's say magnetic resonance images of the head. So by using artificial intelligence, I am trying to find clues hidden in the data, specific patterns associated to one disease, like Alzheimer's disease, or healthy people. So I am doing that by using artificial intelligence and a particular technique into the field of artificial intelligence that is known as deep neural networks. My research in the coming years will help doctors then to develop uh, to basically perform these tasks, the repetitive tasks, faster, but also to discover these hidden patterns, uh, these hidden patterns, sorry, in the data, uh, known as biomarkers, uh, that uh, will help to diagnose diseases that today we cannot. Thank you very much.